All right, H back people. So I want to share with you today a uh, leak detector. It's an infrared leak detector, the ILD 300 uh, by Ellie Tech. First of all, it's a great refrigerant leak detector. I have several more just to show you that I am well diverse and I know what a good leak detector is. I got the Inficon Detelect great leak detector. I got the Ace 10 Pro, but who want to be carrying this bucket thing around in 2025? Uh, great leak detector by Baccarat. Uh, <clears throat> got the LE Tech, this the ILD 100 right here. It's a heated diode leak detector. And I got the Inficon ultrasonic leak detector right here. It's a pretty good leak detector. I haven't used it much, but I have found leaks. Hard to find leaks. Also, I had a video the other day. I think I had maybe 13 PSI on my discharge and zero on my suction side. Somebody said a good leak detector will find that. Uh, I don't know about that, but uh, this is the ILD. This is the infrared leak detector right here. If anybody interested in purchasing any Ellie Tech products, you can visit EllieTechUS.com. Use my discount code WWHBAC10 it'll save you additional 10% off but these are great leak detectors as you can see this screen here you got a 30 second warm up time comes with a wand a nice wand so you can reach the hard to reach spot like I say and this and this will probably could find some with maybe 13 psi and zero psi on, on your suction uh, that's kind of hard sometimes this, this right here will get you in your ideal, you know, general spots. You know what I'm saying? And like I say, it's not, it's not gonna perform miracles or anything like that, but it, if you have, have a leak, it will find it. Uh, it's compatible with all your refrigerant, even the new A2L refrigerant. And see, I got this one set for R22, but it, but it had different gases. You just press this button right here, 404. 410A. You can go to other. But easy. Push over by. You just flip through all the refrigerants that you want to uh, get to. It has a sensitivity out here. And you see it's beeping right, right now. You may be in, in a mechanical room or something like that and it's hard to hear. Um, it has a visible screen on here. I'm actually going to take it out in the field today and use the ILD 300. I have a good unit that's leaking. I think it's leak, leaking at the evaporator. I charged it up for him about two months ago, and he said it's uh, not cooling well again. So I'm going to try to go ahead and just find that leak for him, and hopefully we can get that evaporator before it changed out. But you see it got a beautiful display on there. Beeping, comes with a little light, illuminating light, and like a flash LED light. Uh, my batteries already went off on me. You got to do make sure you don't have an automatic shut off on here. So you do got to make sure you turn it off. I think I left mine on and drained the battery. So, uh, but a nice little light when you're in those dark spots. Like I say, it comes with a carrying case here. Uh, light protective case. We'll come with that. So y'all visit letechus.com. This is an infrared leak detector. Um, I would kind of show you how it feel, but ho hopefully I can take it in the field and actually show you, show me using this and, and trying to find a leak. But refrigerants, we got HFC, CFC, HCFC blends, uh, HFO, there's one, two, three, four, YF sensitivity. You got a high sensitivity, medium and low, rechargeable uh, lithium battery, uh, and it meets the SAE standards. But hey, this is a great leak detector. So if anybody in the market for a leak detector, visit letechus.com. It's the ILD 300. It's an infrared leak detector here. Great tool. Like I said, I, they got more leak detectors if you like the heated dye yard. But uh, like I say, 
The LE Tech, Nikki Tech, I can say. I think some LE Tech products too, they, they make some really good leak protectors. So if anybody interested in, in, in finding more info, go to their website, letechus.com. But they do make great leak detectors. Some, um, I haven't had any problems with the leak detector though. But this, another one of my favorite, uh, the D-Select. I don't think about this one now. My, my battery going out on my leak detector, so I always got to charge this or uh, have it charged up when I'm using it. Haven't had any problems with the ILD 300. Come with a nice protective rubber case. Y'all know I'm hard on my tools, so I might drop it a couple times. What happened there? Yeah, I'm definitely hard on my tools. I, I dropped it a couple times. As you can see this is where you charge it up at. And also it has a headphone jack. So if you in a loud space or can't see the screen or something like that, you want to put your, your headphone, it does come with a headphone jack as well. So, like I say, very nice leak detector. It's where you put your, your sensors or your filters. Replace the filters. And it does come with some extra filters also. Like I say, fast warm up time, you just press the button and it'll tell you that it's warming up, calibrating. 30 second warm up time. Nice. And I'm gonna go ahead and get some refrigerant just in case. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna get some refrigerant just show you how it looks. Just in case I don't be able to take a shot in the field today. One thing can happen. The homeowner may not be home or something. So I'm going to get some refrigerant and just open it up. All right, so there's some 407C refrigerant right here. I'm just gonna crack it. So I'm gonna put my gas on 407C, as you can see. 407C refrigerant, so I'm just gonna crack this. Barely cracked it. See the nice visible display? It's still in the air right here. I got it closed right now. And you see the bars on the right, it kind of just showing you that's like a min and max high point. It got way up there right now. It say you fix the leak or something like that, or you uh, tighten the straighter port. Now you can see it's really not sensing anything. It's, it's low right there. I'm gonna crack it again. Well, let's let's start off. I'm gonna warm it up again. Thirty second warm up. So that's 30 second warm up. As you can see, I'm gonna set this to 407C. We're gonna do it again. Got it set for 407C. And you can see my display. It just got a green line at the bottom. I'm gonna crack this valve right here. Barely crack it. Barely cracked, just got gas. 
All right, so I'm gonna you see I close, you see the high point. Let me close that. Good, so there's still some in the air. Now you see my screen. That gas rising up. Let me let it dissipate a little bit. But you see that, that was my high point right there. Now let's just say I had a little straighter core and I, and I fixed it. Now it's not sensing any gas anymore. Nice, very, very nice leak detector. So if anybody interested in a good uh, leak detector, visit ellietechus.com. Use my discount code WWHBAC to get additional savings. I'm a contractor, Washington AC and Heating. I like reliable tools that I can depend on. So visit ellietechus.com. Ellietech is a sponsor of my channel, but these are very, very nice tools, folks. So visit ellietechus.com. All right.